wait what would just happen? Can somebody tell me why I just had a dream about being Steve in Roblox? Hey what is going on you guys my name is Sub-Zero Extabyte and I am shooting right back at you from the comfort of my own little casa, and you know that me casa is to casa so you know make yourself at home. But today I am not just going to perfect my Spanish a little, no today I am going to be making some darn parkour and this is going to be like really cool because you know how much I love the parkours all day and all night and since it is day I am going to give it a go. I hope that I can actually create a pretty cool parkour right now because I have been thinking of building this thing for so long now that I'm kind of getting greedy to get this thing done. I know that it may sound like really weird just because it is nothing but a darn parkour but since I am so much into parkour I think that this is just the only thing that has been missing from my new homestead right here. So I mean I guess that we can have it all right now. But that would mean that everything would have to go right and I am sure that we can make that semi possible at least. I think that this actually might become a pretty great parkour spot right now. I gotta say I am very happy with this right here. It's super duper cool isn't it? Oh my god are you kidding me? I cannot even make my own parkour when I am still building it. That is not good since I am still building it. So I might have to make this parkour just a little bit easier or I'm going to have to get a lot better at doing these parkours because that might be the only viable option right here. But would you look at that. This is the place where I met that new noob. This is literally the spot where I learned him how to make these redstone lines and such, and I let him blow up that hill right there. It was a really cool video to do, so a little shameless self plug. So let me just recommend you to go watch that video if you wanna get right to the point of what has been happening around here. There has actually happened a lot of things around here now that I'm getting to it right now. I mean since I moved to this place which was not too long ago because I first had a house a little bit further up the road. Not that there is a physical road but you get the metaphorical point at least I hope. But to be honest everything that has happened here since I moved here has been pretty good for me. But like I was saying just a second ago. There have been a lot of things happening around here after I first came here. So I had a little casa a couple of miles to the north of here. But that got blown up after some noob sprung a booby trap that I had set up. So that was kind of my own fault I guess. But of course I am not here to confess to my own stupidity. But after all of that happened I decided to just move on and become a changed man. And I did actually become a changed man. And life has been great ever since that happened and I am loving it. I helped out another noob and helped him become an actual professional Minecraft pro. And I had a video about circles. And if you have no idea what I am talking about, well then you should go watch that video as well. Let's just say that something happened to my Minecraft world and all of a sudden all of my beloved squared and cubes were just gone. So it was a really weird video even for me. So I would highly recommend for you to go watch that video. But of course none of that has anything to do with me building a parkour in my backyard. But then when you look at it from another angle, it kind of has everything to do with me building a parkour in my own backyard. Because I am trying to get my life back on the rails, literally. Ha huh, that was a joke and a pun in once. Because we all know that I will probably never get my life together. But at least we have each other and we can do all of this together. So that is why I want to build build this parkour in my own backyard so that I can have all of the things that I love within a hand's reach. And that is kind of cool because that would mean that I do no longer have to go and travel from Roblox to Minecraft and of course from Minecraft to Roblox. But it was just insane to me that we have got all of this down right now. And right now we can actually start to think about settling down and start taking it slow for a while. But I am still considering that fact and it is nothing more than a consideration so do not start yelling at me because because I will still be here for all of you to comfort you in sad times. And right now is not a sad time because my parkour is actually looking pretty good for real. And what do you guys think about this right here? This looks pretty cool right? So right now I can actually have a cool view from the top of my house when I am doing a parkour. But of course this is just a little training parkour so that I can become even better when I can just practice whenever I want. So that is pretty cool if you ask me, and especially if you know the meaning behind all of this. Because right now I have pretty much put my new house as a center point, or a focal point of the parkour. And that is because this new house is the beginning of something new. Something a lot better than what it used to be and that is a good thing whether you believe in it or not. I mean who would not be ready for all of this right? 
I know that I am pretty hyped for when I can start doing all of this and never have to worry about anything anymore so I can just do whatever I want all day long. I mean I could be working all day, and I could be recording all day. Or maybe I could just be laying in my bed all day while I am watching my brand new super fat TV. And that would be cool too, because this is the new me. And I am loving it already. And you know what? Maybe I will be just laying in my bed all day and watching the 4K remaster of the awesome. And by awesome I mean really awesome. Breaking Bad. I mean who would not want to spend his or her whole day just laying in a bed while watching a Breaking Bad 4K remaster. That is like watching something so cool, but then you are not just watching it, but you are watching it in 4K. Which makes it like 4000 times cooler than it already is. Actually it would make it like only twice as cool, or four times as cool. I am not sure sure because math is not my strong suit but I know that it has to be somewhere around two times as good as full HD or four times as good as full HD but all of that is besides the point because Breaking Bad is already awesome on its own in just full HD and I am loving every bit of it. Oh my god I just noticed that it is already getting night time right now. I mean I guess a saying is true. The time does go faster when you are having fun. Or at least it feels like it is going faster when you are having fun. Which makes sense because let's think about this for a second. When I had that dream of being in Roblox the time went really slow and to me that was a nightmare and right now I am having the time of my life and the time is going really a second what is that behind the moon or no it is in front of the moon oh look at that it is another steve but why would there be another steve out here when i have not seen another steve walking around here in the night time so what would he want maybe he wants some kind of a master course on how to get a lot better at doing parkours i mean i would be kind of down to do that if i have to be honest right now wait what do you even want or are you just not going to be talking at all? Which is just kind of lame if you ask me. I mean come on. Wait no put that down do not. Wait where even am I as this Roblox? Wait a second I look like a Steve. Oh no do not tell me that he trapped me in a Steve body in Roblox. Wow I mean I thought that he was just another noob. But I am guessing that somebody who can do something like this to me and brew a potion like that is not messing around as a noob he must have used some potion to disguise himself to just look like a steve wow i cannot believe that i have just been bamboozled like that that is just nothing like me i mean usually i would see right through someone who is trying to bamboozle me but it looks like that is not what happened today so i'm going to have to do whatever i can do to just get back into my minecraft world and out of this darn steve bonnie i mean everything has been going so well lately and now this happens just out of the blue. That is not something that I would count as a very funny experience. But that might just be me. And maybe I cannot think straight right now. But it might have been a bamboozle set up by Dennis because he has still not gotten over his little cat incident from a couple of weeks ago. I knew that there had got to be something that this dude wanted. I mean there has got to be something that he wants right now otherwise you would not be here at this moment. So hit me what is up. I cannot believe that he bamboozled me. But the time flies by sometimes and it is pretty cool if you ask me. But the funny part about that is that it is not that funny at all. I mean I sometimes would want the time to just linger a little longer. Because sometimes I would just want the days to last a little longer so that I can do more fun things in them. And that would mean that I could be making more videos and I would be able to go around and just have fun a lot more and a lot longer actually. Because I already do have a lot of fun, but I would just like to have fun for some longer so that I do not have to worry about going inside when the street lights turn on. No, I do not want to deal with all of that because that is not funny at all. I just want to live life to the fullest and that means that I would have to lengthen the days a little more which means less sleep but I will make it work because right now I have bigger fish to fry if I want to get out of here and get back to being myself and I can tell you that I would rather want to be Sub-Zero Extabyte than I would want to be Steve from Minecraft I mean I would love to just be Sub-Zero Extabyte inside of Minecraft but this guy has just taken that away from me so I will literally just destroy this obby and I will make sure that I can get back into my own body and of course getting back into my Minecraft world. I am just hoping that he has not done something weird with my house or my parkour for that matter because I will have to go full Liam Neeson and start looking for him and I will find him and I will not kill him but I will have a little hearty word with him and just get to him to tell him that what he has done is not acceptable at all and that I will have to ask for an apology which I probably will not be getting from that guy but I will make it work 
and I will be getting that apology, even if it will be the death of me right now. And some of these things will probably actually become the death of me since I am predicting that I'm going to be failing a lot of times while I am doing this. But like I said this is not for nothing. I mean I will have to get back into my actual body. I cannot go around and go through life like any other Steve. That is not something that I, Sub-Zero Extabyte would do. And it is not something that I'm going to do. Because there is more to life than chasing ghosts but then again hindsight is 2020. I usually forget something like that when I am worrying about the things that have happened in the past. But then again, I mean it is not all for nothing. I am not just doing this for myself. I will have to do this for you guys as well because this is what I have to do when it comes to YouTube. I mean you guys are not just going to watch another Steve play Minecraft and in this case Roblox. I mean I am kind of lucky that I caught all of this on camera, so that everyone watching right now actually knows what happened and what is going on. But if it were not for the fact that my camera was on, and still is on, then everyone would probably be thinking that I am just a phony Sub-Zero Extabyte who is just imitating his voice. And that would be a very bad thing to have happen. So I'm going to be doing everything in my power to actually go on and do this so that I'm not just able to get back at the noob imposter that threw a potion at me and did all of this to me. No I am not just doing this out of revenge or just as a simple way to avenge myself. No no no. I am going to be doing all of this just because I want to get back to my normal life. None of this should have happened in the first place because 10 minutes ago I was talking about how cool it would be to have a parkour. And then I started building a parkour and I was talking about how great it was to finally have my life back together. Or actually just to have my life back on the rails. That was the pun that I used on the time. So this is not just for me, I am also doing this out of courtesy for you guys to get some rest. But let me tell you something real quick, and yes this will become a little bit of a story time, since it seemed like you guys actually liked it when I started doing some more story times into my videos, but here it goes. This is not all for nothing, like I just said, I am doing this for myself, and I am doing this out of courtesy for you guys, and I want you guys to know that I would want everything to go back to the way things were 10 minutes ago, because I finally thought that things had fallen into their respective places, I mean sometimes you get around to it and life hits you in the face like a clown who gets hit on the head with a slice of cream pie. And I know that the thought of that might sound delicious, but I have not been hit in the face with a freaking cream pie. No sometimes it feels more like I have been hit in the face with a freaking wrecking ball with Miley Cyrus on there to make matters worse. But none of that mattered to me an hour ago because I actually felt like my life was starting to get back on track and I was in the driver's seat again. But right now I have been knocked back right into the freaking trunk of the car. Meaning that I'm not just in the back seat watching my life fly by beside me. No right now I am just not even getting to see my own life anymore because this is not my own life no this is something less than a life because right now i am steve and i am not just steve no to make matters worse i am a noob steve in roblox i mean come on that is not even the right game that is like i am in the trunk of not even my own life or car or whatever the analogies are starting to make my head spin but what i want you guys to know is that i am fighting as hard as i possibly can to get my life back together and get back to minecraft right away as soon as humanly possible because let's be honest all together here i think that we can all agree on the fact that i was doing my very best in making that parkour in minecraft for myself over there and everything went good for once i mean i had no noobs showing up or anything else to show up for that matter everything was just going absolutely a hundred percent fine and then there comes this noob again but as you can see we have actually done it which is just amazing if you ask me and i would not have been able to do this without the help of you guys my loyal fans but we are not back in minecraft yet so be me up scotty but i just want to say that i'm grateful for every single one of you and this is sub-zero extabyte logging off Oh would you take a look at that, I guess the potion effect doesn't last as long as I thought it would. Well that was pretty weird. Goodbye.